Hi and welcome. I'm Jamie Hartley from Crossfader, the online DJ school, and I have three simple steps for you today to help you get your music from your computer through Pioneer DJ's record box software onto your USB device. Leaving you ready to get started on any of Pioneer DJ's record box ready CDJs or XTJ systems. Now we know it's pretty overwhelming for new users of the software to get their head around it. So here's a quick breakdown. Quickly before we start, make sure your USB drive is formatted to one of the FAT options. FAT32 being the most common for Pioneer DJ's hardware. On a Mac, enter disk utilities and reformat using the erase option. Remember, this wipes your entire USB, so back anything up that you need to keep before doing this. Now for our three step tutorial. Step one, import. There are a couple of ways to import your music to the record box software. One way is to click file and import, then choose a folder or song. Another way is to drag and drop from a folder located on your computer. Alternatively, if you use iTunes, you could drag and drop from there also. Please note that if you change the location or file name of the original song, you'll need to relocate the file within Rekordbox. Any orange missing files can be relocated by clicking file and relocate missing files. Step two, organize and prepare. Create playlists in Rekordbox by right clicking here. You can also choose intelligent playlists or folders for extra organization. After creating and naming a playlist, simply drag and drop your music from the collection. To prepare your music, you can load it onto the player by hitting enter. Rekordbox has the option to save hot cues or memory points throughout the track to recall when mixing on a range of the Pioneer CDJs and XDJ systems. We have more details about where to set up hot cues and loops for creative mixing in our online courses. Step three, export. You can right click on any playlist after you have inserted your USB and choose to export it to that device. However, a much quicker way to manage your music is through the sync manager located in the bottom left of the software. If it's the first time using your USB device with Rekordbox, make sure to check the synchronized playlist with a device option. Then simply check the playlist you want to export and hit the arrow. You can click the close button at any point, but wait until the progress bar along the bottom of the program has completed before safe ejecting your USB device. If you want to delete any tracks, make sure this setting is turned on first. Navigate to the gear icon, then to CDJ and device, check the box, delete playlist tracks from device if playlist is deleted. Then simply delete the tracks you no longer want to use from within the playlist on record box. Use the sync manager again to remove those tracks from the device. Here are a few more tips just in case you weren't aware. If you set up any hot cues or loops on a CDJ or XDJ system, you'll need to plug your USB device in, navigate to Sync Manager and press the arrow pointing to the left. This updates the record box version with those new saved points. Just think of the arrows as a mirror between the record box software and your USB device, sending cue points and loops back and forth between the two. Have you lost some music and need to re-import it to record box or to a friend's laptop for a quick back-to-back -back session? Simply plug in your USB device and right click any playlist within that device, selecting to import that playlist. All tracks and save points will be imported to that record box library on that system. Another common mistake is that you do not need to drag and drop the files onto the USB device within the finder or your computer. Record box exports all the music files for you. It is normal to see just folders marked as Pioneer and contents on your actual device. If you need to check that the tracks have been exported correctly, you could try load a song from the device section within Rekordbox after exporting using the Sync Manager. I hope this video has made your experience with the Rekordbox much smoother. If you want to learn some more tips and tricks, whether it's your first day with something like the XDJ RX2, or you're a DJ that wants to learn some creative advanced mixing skills, we have courses available for all abilities. If you have any further comments or questions about exporting to your USB device, or you've come across any problems, please drop them in the comments below and I'll do my best to answer every single one. If you found this video useful, then please drop a thumbs up or a like and make sure to subscribe to our channel. My name's Jamie Hartley. I hope to see you in another tips video very soon.